Hey, what is up guys? It's been a while since I last posted a video, about a week ago, and it's just because I've been catching up with a lot of work and, uh, you know, got a few assignments, got a few labs to prepare for and everything like that. I have to write a few essays that's due pretty soon from now. So because of that, I've been so busy that I couldn't really upload a video, couldn't really edit a video. Uh, I do have videos already recorded, I just have to actually get to editing them. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but um, next week I do have a few days off. Um, so hopefully from there I can actually use that time to make a few videos as well, um, as well as edit them and upload them. So do expect something uh, next week, but not in the few days from now. Um, that's where I will be at my most busiest. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload one or two videos during that period of time. Uh, but basically I'm making this video as of the 22nd, which is, uh, or rather it's now the 23rd, uh, because um, I just watched the episode 21 of uh, Vanguard here. And uh, I'm going to be doing a double episode review, obviously, because I am trying to catch up on my reviews here. I've been a little late. I uh, still haven't even uploaded episode 19's review. So, you know, I'll be uploading that pretty soon, obviously. But uh, I'll be doing a double episode review on 20 and 21. But, uh... On episode 20, not much really happened, but at the same time, it was one of the most exciting episodes because uh, basically after the fight with uh, Tetsu and Aichi, um, they all pretty much all gathered up. Um, you know, Tetsu left and uh, Aichi and Kyo, as well as Kamui, all met up with uh, Ren and uh, that was definitely really cool, the interaction, seeing that, and uh, eventually um, there was a bit of a small reunion with Ren and Misaki as well, which was definitely a really fun interaction to see between them, um, but this time it's more uh, defined in this particular series compared to the original, so uh, definitely going to um, find this really interesting how their characters develop in such a certain way here. Uh, but overall, they eventually went to uh, AO4 headquarters and, um, you know, everyone just gathered up and met up together. So basically, Q4 and AO4 all um, had this pretty much kind of like a standoff where uh, we saw everything happen. Um, it was just awesome seeing Kai and Miwa obviously raiding the whole place. And uh, the fact that Kai and Ren have finally met up again um it's definitely really awesome there so uh that's pretty much where the episode left off and uh with episode 21 which was today uh that i just finished uh definitely a really awesome episode because uh in this one we actually finally get to see the fight between ren and akai here uh very interesting with the whole dynamic between uh ren kai and aichi now because obviously we're comparing it to the original series as a benchmark for this and it's interesting in the fact that kai is uh trying to force aichi to quit the game rather than uh, in the original one where he's just so vague and just calling IG weak so definitely a lot better for uh, trying to find ways to protect IG from uh, you know getting influenced by Psyqualia here but of course um, that's just the power that Kai doesn't know particularly much about so uh, you know obviously from there um, it does create a different relationship between uh, Kai and Aichi, but at the same time, Ren's relationship with Kai is also uh, really odd at this point as well. Um, it's definitely, um, it's a little similar with uh, the whole obsession with Kai, but at the same time, there's more reason to uh, why Ren is the way he is, and in this case, he's actually trying to save Kai in some sort of way, but at the same time, uh, become the best character. Uh, card fighter in the world so uh definitely really interesting there but obviously the fight started off the first half of the fight um they were both just ending off at grade two so really slow it focused more on dialogue um you know developing characters sort of or unveiling what their characters are morally like uh for example we got to see a lot of uh, kai's uh past attitude and uh past personalities as well as seeing Ren actually hum. Um, this was probably one of the most dramatic episodes ever uh, in the entirety of like this series. Um, 
but of course the acting was actually phenomenal in this one um i found it really amazing actually because i actually started feeling chills when uh ren started humming during the uh fight so uh very powerful voices in this particular one so i definitely got to give props to that uh but overall uh we left the episode off with uh ren riding into dark dictator um, so that's definitely really, really awesome to see. And I was really, like, expecting him to ride into Phantom Blaster Dragon. But overall, at this point, I have no idea how the um, series is going to go at this point. Um, is this the point where, like, at this point, my prediction is obviously uh, Ren will beat Kai. And there will be a little unfortunate there. But after this, what will happen? Like... Will Aichi actually take on Ren right away and will he actually win bringing back Ren or at least like opening his mind and making him aware that Psyqualia isn't the ultimate power or does Aichi perhaps need a little more development because at this point he's still confused about Psyqualia, he still has no idea, he has no control and Psyqualia hasn't fully manifested in Aichi yet. So at this point, we don't even know what's really going to happen. Uh, but yeah, there's only two ways that this will happen is either this will be uh, close to the showdown or the end of this particular first season, or it will actually drag on a lot longer and um, Ren will actually beat both Kai and Aichi. And uh, this will become like some kind of big tournament or something like that. Or perhaps Kaichi and... Uh, sorry, Kaichi... Uh, Perhaps Aichi and Ren will probably set up a date to uh, card fight and uh, once and for all settle the fights. And I guess during that time, maybe Aichi would have some sort of training period where he can uh, try to uh, manifest Psyqualia. In fact, maybe uh, Aichi could actually meet up with uh, Team Ultra Rare and uh, get to know more about what Psyqualia is. It will be pretty interesting for us to actually know as an audience um, what Psyquale is as well because it wasn't really fully explained even in, even in the original series so definitely going to be uh, exciting to hopefully um, reveal later on in this series but for now we just gotta uh, stick to our guesses and pretty much expect anything to happen really but uh, that's a good thing for this because obviously if we're expecting everything that's coming it's going to be boring um, so yeah, tell me what you guys actually thought about this. This was really awesome. Uh, is Phantom Blaster Dragon actually going to be revealed anytime soon? I know the AO4 set's actually going to be coming out in October the 19th. It will definitely be really cool to see uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon reveal soon. So that will be really awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say about this. So hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.